driving roads are just phenomenal and they're on your doorstep. You just don't know that they are. So you're watching my videos and you're thinking, Mick, how are you finding all these brilliant roads that you're driving on? Well, right now I'm gonna teach you. The first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need to visit bestbikingroads.com. I've got it up on the screen now. And what, what I've done before this drive is I've had a quick look and I found some roads that look promising. I live in London and there's still good roads less than half an hour from me. Once I've found the road that I'm interested in that I wanna explore, I'll map out a little map along Google Maps. So like for today, for example, I came up the M25, up the M11, and I've then, I'm just now coming to the road that I want to explore. I was out with a subscriber and he mentioned every time he's near here, he sees Porsches coming out of that road. And he was like, what's going on there? Very true, I need to find out. And you can see that road's lovely and curvy. It's that exact road that we just saw. Um, once I've got this all set up, it's now really simple for me to follow the route. I know where I'm going, I know what I'm doing, and I don't need to worry about anything else apart from enjoying the drive. Let's see what this road's all about. I love that national speed limit sign. <laughs> hey. Yeah, looks like we could have a bit of fun here. Woo. You always wanna make sure if you're on a road for the first time, you're not going 10 tenths. To be honest, on any road, you shouldn't be going 10 tenths. But you want to keep it reasonable. If you're on a road for the first time, keep it six tenths, maybe seven tenths if you're, if you're feeling frisky, but you don't know how tight some of these corners are. I'm enjoying this. This is, do you know what? This has been a good little find. Oh, that's a lovely set of corners. <laughs> it's really quiet as well. So it's 7 p.m. on a Thursday, I think it is. I'm on holiday, so I don't even know what days are anymore. But um, yeah, it's a lovely little road. And this was a 35, 40 minute drive from where I live. And I live in London. <laughs> so yeah, a little bit of motorway. And then you, you're out here doing this. It's absolutely brilliant. I do like it. Glad I did this. Oh, look at that corner. Woo! <laughs> Loads of fun. Coming through a little town, you always want to respect the little towns. I've never been here before. What is this place? Feathers Hill? I don't know. Um, but we respect the little towns. We go nice and slowly through them. This looks like a scene out of JM's video. <laughs> Maybe we drop a couple of gears. This is where we're legally allowed to enjoy our car. <laughs> you look at some of those roads and yeah, sometimes you'll go out and it'll be a bit of a flop. It won't be the best road in the world. But I've just come out here and this is phenomenal. It looks brilliant. Lovely scenery, twisty road through the countryside. I've only done three miles of it. I've still got another 10 to go. Look at this, a bit of elevation. <laughs> it's brilliant. How could you not love it? Look at the slow signs on the floor, decreasing radius corner. Oh, this is a lovely little challenge. Ah. Oh. I'm sad I didn't find this road sooner. Uh, someone I went on, on a drive with actually said, uh, it was during that subscriber drive, we should really check this road out. No wonder the Porsche is always flooding out of here. <laughs> Brilliant bit of road. Those slow signs always scare me because you never really know <laughs> what the situation is. Look at it. I'm here sunset time. Ah, oh, this is what driving is all about. This is what made me fall in love with driving in the first place. I actually started on motorbikes, guys. And the first time I was on a little 125 on a road like this, I, I just, I'd been bitten. You could not stop me. All I wanted to do was drive phenomenal roads on and in phenomenal machines. That's, that's all I wanted to do with my life. That was... Yeah, the, the, the bug had bit me. Oh, look at that. Someone coming the other way is having a bit of fun. Yeah, he's getting a lick on going, lad. <laughs> oh, I love it. I've got what looks like a Golf GTI Club Sport behind me. So the fun could potentially be had. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely trying to keep up. Again, he probably knows these roads better than I do. 
Well, he definitely knows he's much better than I do. <laughs> oh, I love this little car. This is what this is what petrol head is all about. Fuck me, that corner was tight. <laughs> This is what being a petrol head is being is all about. You just get out on an evening, sun is setting, it's a beautiful day. It might only be 10 degrees out. But guys, this is this is it. This is what it's all about. Just enjoying your car, having a bit of fun, staying safe, but just having an absolute brilliant, brilliant time. If you want to learn to read the corner that's coming up ahead, click the link in the top right corner of the screen. I've got a video about how to drive fast safely. Um, it's called Three Things You Don't Understand About Driving Quickly. Oh, look at this. Look at the sat-nav screen. <laughs> it's just corners. Oh, this might be the best bit. Oh, it's got me all excited. Look at that. That is what you call a British B-road. Oh my God, yes. Oh, look at this. Yes. Big win. <laughs> look at this. Look at the sat -nav screen. Oh, this is gonna be glorious. I'm not even going down to second because I'm not going to go super quickly. Look at the sky! <laughs> oh, this is the best bit. Look at the corners. Oh, I'm such a happy boy right now. I'm so glad I came to visit this road. And you see now, I can add this road to my repertoire. So normally when I go out for a Sunday drive, I end up doing small variations of the same 10 or 12 roads. But now I've got an extra road to add into there. And what I'll do next time I come out is I'll find a road that links back to the other ones from this one. And then over time, once I've gone out six times, seven times, 10 times, 20 times, I'll build up a local knowledge of all the best roads. And then I can link them together into a big loop. And then I can have the most fun. But look at this. Do you know what, guys? I'm not British. I wasn't born in this country. But this is why I love this country. The driving roads are just phenomenal. And they're on your doorstep. You just don't know that they are. You just don't know about them. You can't find them. You don't know how to. Well, now you do.